Hi, it's Travis White with the Persuasive Communication Tip of the Week. We've talked in the past about the need in the first few minutes of your presentation to do two things. One is to build credibility, and two is to prove that you are a trustworthy person. In other words, build the bonds of trust with your audience. Unfortunately, credibility and trustworthiness sometimes work at cross purposes. So let's talk about credibility first. To build your own credibility, one of the things you would want to do is talk about your experience. Talk about things that you've done in the past that are relevant to the topic at hand and that are relevant to the audience in front of you. Now, in talking about yourself, you can build credibility, but if you overdo it, you would become a braggart. You're simply bragging about yourself, and what does that do? That lowers your trustworthiness. People don't like people who brag about themselves. So sometimes building your credibility will also lower the audience perception of whether you're a trustworthy person or not. So you have to be careful in this and have a good balance. And there's a couple of tips here I want to give to you today. First, if you're going to introduce yourself and talk about your own experience in order to build credibility, I would encourage you to focus on the mistakes that you've made. That makes you credible. It also builds the bonds of trust because everybody understands that people make mistakes. So let's say you used to be an executive at a big powerful company, a big important company. You could say, I used to be a big powerful executive at a big important company. Frankly, that sounds like you're bragging. Or you could say, when I was an executive at a big important company, I made a very big mistake. And let me tell you about that and let me tell you what I learned about that. That shows the same thing. It gives you the, the credibility. You were an executive and it shows that you've learned something. You have some experience. You have some scars. You have some street smarts. Not just IQ or not just academic learning. You actually have experience that's relevant. That will help build your credibility and trustworthiness at the same time. So focus on mistakes rather than accomplishments in some senses. The second way is get somebody else to introduce you, and that's probably the better way. Other people can introduce you and can brag about you in ways that you can't brag about yourself. So they can do the bragging for you. They can help build your credibility. You can focus on building the trust, the relationship, the bond. So I would suggest that you write out your introduction, give it to the person, have that person read the introduction to you, read it aloud, perhaps have that person read it to you aloud several times. In other words, get them to practice. At the end of the introduction, I would encourage you to ask the introducer, the other person, to say, and the reason this is important is, and then in his or her own words, fill in that sentence. So you supplied most of the material, you supplied most of the data, the person then puts it in context for the audience. If that person is a member of the audience, that also helps you build that bond of trust because you are one group rather than two groups. It's not I and you, it's we. Third point is, if you're introducing somebody, do the same thing. Get them to write down what, uh, what their accomplishments have been. Get to know them a little bit. Practice with that person. Here's what I'm going to say. Listen to this and make sure I'm saying it right. Make sure I'm pronouncing your name right. All of those kinds of details. And then in the end, again, fill in with your own words why this is important, why this is appropriate for the audience at hand. So if you're going to introduce yourself, be sure to mention your mistakes, not just your accomplishments. That helps you build your trustworthiness. If somebody else is introducing you, they can brag about you in ways that you can't. Give them the information they need, but ask them to summarize in their own words. And similarly, if you're introducing someone else, get them to supply the information, but summarize in the end in your own words. Above all, be brief, turn the floor over to the speaker, sit down, and let the proceedings uh, continue. So that's a persuasive communication tip of the week. See you again next week.